Hi guys, welcome back to Orms TV. This is our first video for the year 2020 and we've got something special for you guys, the Canon 1DX Mark III. Yeah, and it is a big one. Like it is a massive, massive camera announcement. And Canon's saying that there's over a hundred improvements on this unit compared to the Mark II. Now we just want to kick it off, run through the specs in this first look review. We will do a full review later on, but for now we have a sample unit so we can't do much with it but we want to show you guys what it's all about and what the specs are so just to kick it off this unit has a brand new sensor fitted and it is a 20.1 megapixel unit now that sounds very similar to what you had in the 1dx mark ii but it is in fact completely new brand new developed from the ground up and it has a brand new low pass filter fitted and that low pass filter is designed to reduce moray especially when you're shooting video but with this new technology that Canon's using here it is actually more akin to the sharpness in stills that you're going to get from a unit without a low pass filter. So jumping into the ISO you can do 102,400 mm -hmm. but expand it up to 800,000 which is quite crazy it's going to push up your low light performance quite a lot and then obviously what this camera is made for frames per second so we've got 16 frames per second but if you do mirror lockup you can actually do 20. Now this is in both mechanical and electronic shutter. Okay, and that is with autofocus in between every single Continuous shot. Continuous autofocus, yeah, and that's which what is, we want. That's insane. That's amazing. Um, so all of that speed and that power is made possible with the all-new Digic X processing chip. Brand new. And this is the first camera that that's going to be in. Now, it is insanely fast. And just to sort of put it into a little bit of pers perspective, that Digic X processing chip is three times faster than the two Digic 6 plus chips combined that was in the 1DX Mark II. So that's so huge crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Another interesting thing that Canon did here was that they completely got rid of the compact flash and CFast cards that you found in previous um, 1DX models. And um, this unit now runs dual CF Express card slots. And I mean, they are stupidly fast. But unfortunately, they are also a little bit on the pricey side. And yes, you are going to have to upgrade your cards if you are looking at getting a unit like this. But on the upside, it does seem that the first batch of units that's going to come out will come with a um, probably a 64 gig um, CF Express card and probably a card reader as well included. So that's a nice little incentive just to get you going in this. Nice little touch. But they did this for an absolutely epic reason. Yeah, and the big reason is going to be on the video side of things. So on the full chip, we're looking at 5.5K 30 frames per second. And you can also shoot 4K 60 frames, 422, 10-bit, C-Log installed, all internally on this machine. You can also do full HD at 120 frames a second for the guys doing a bit of action or slow-mo. Now, overall, looking at that, it's, that's a beast. That is serious. Yep. That is very, very serious. Also, none of those formats are cropped. Um, no so, crop yeah. and raw. Gone. Well. Yeah, exactly. Gone are the days of crop, raw installed. It's like... I cannot wait to get this thing outside yeah. and actually shoot some video with yeah. it. That sounds amazing. So, good job, Ken. Mm, very much so. So, let's talk about the obvious features that everybody wants to know and the people that be using this camera for, mm -hmm. the autofocus. Yeah, so, um, very much in keeping with the idea of this being a hybrid camera system, um, Canon actually has two completely separate autofocus systems in here. Yeah. So, just to kick things off, the first system that you'd use, and that is if you're going for the traditional DSLR route, so essentially with your mirror down, so mirror in place, um, you are running a system that has has 191 autofocus points and 150 of those are cross type points. Now that system is paired with a brand new autofocus sensor that's in the camera and that's about 28 times the resolution of the autofocus sensor that was in the 1DX Mark II. So that's already a massive gain. A lot of information. Yeah and a lot more sensitivity that you're going to get out of that. Now in this specific unit that new autofocus um, sensor is coupled with a a dedicated Digic 8 processing chip and that processing chip analyzes all the information coming from that sensor. Now a big thing that Canon has put into this unit and it's probably a world first I mean I've, I've yeah. never really encountered it before is um, that Digic 8 processor that's running that autofocus system actually runs a complete deep learning algorithm and how this in essence work is that that algorithm and that processor has effectively been 
taught to recognize human shapes, human faces, you know, sort of human anatomy within a frame. And it'll always prioritize that when you're tracking, like when you're shooting sports, you know, someone running, someone on a bicycle, on a motorbike, sitting in a car, anything like that, that human shape is gonna be prioritized. So for both for autofocusing and for light metering, and that is, phenomenal i mean that is insane tech to be in a dslr package um, with your mirror down that's that's almost like the kind of thing that you were expecting to see in a dedicated mirrorless system yeah but here you have it in a dslr setup and by all accounts it works phenomenally and again i mean like i keep saying this like it's, it's just something that i can't wait to actually go out and test then touching on the mirrorless so you mm. like you said in the beginning you there's two separate sort of autofocus yeah. uh, systems in here um, when you shoot mirror up so this is when your mirror is up and you'll be shooting mm. from the screen then you've got over 3,000 autofocus points to choose from, which is crazy. The autofocus system then switches down to Canon's Dual Pixel AF, mm. which we know is tried and tested and it's, it's always amazing. perfect. Yeah. It also runs with the latest EOS R software. So basically that means you've got face detection, you've got eye detection, all the good stuff that everybody wants. Now on top of the 3,000 points, that's quite a lot to kind of move around. Yeah. And uh, moving them around, this new AF on button, sort of like a, almost like a touchscreen kind of thing, and that is a great feature to kind of switch and move around your points very easily. Um, that's definitely something I like on this camera. Yeah, it's a very cool little addition. Yeah. Absolutely love it. So since you've mentioned uh, these new touch buttons yeah. on here, um, I just want to talk about ergonomics as a whole. And as is so typical for Canon in the best way possible, the moment you pick this camera up, it just, it, it falls Feels to your hand. Feels like a Canon. Yeah, like it falls to your hand immediately. You're, you know, you're on the trigger, everything's perfect, the grip is nice and deep. There is zero complaints on here from my side. Everything feels quality, everything feels solid. You know, like just by picking it up that this camera is gonna last you, you know, a lifetime. Um, everything is really good. You've got all your dials exactly where you expect them to be. You have some quick access buttons on the front that you can assign to all sorts of functions. All of your quick access menus are on there. It really is just a very easy, very straightforward system to pick up. And if you've used any Canon in the past, yeah. you know, you can pretty much pick this up and just be ready to go within minutes. Um, even looking at the menu system. It's the same. Yeah, it's, it's what you have on everything from your 4000D, you know, all the way yeah. up to your 5Ds and all of that. It's, it's, it's beautifully laid out, it's straightforward, it's easy to understand, it's exactly what you want from a Canon. Right, so jumping to battery life, an improved 2,800 shots per battery. It is still the LPE19, so thanks to the new processors, it's handling the juice a little bit better. Also, Wi-Fi and GPS now built into the unit. So for your short transmission, that'll be to the phone or tablet, and then obviously you still have the WFT9 which is able to transmit files for longer. So that would be if you're transmitting it to a server at a news broadcaster for live events, you'll need that attachment, separate accessory. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, the other thing that Canon did here was that they've uprated the shutter mechanism as well. Now on the 1DX Mark II, your shutter was rated up to 400,000 releases. On this unit now, it's up to 500,000 releases, which is insane. But also saying that you might get to that 500,000 releases pretty quick, because this thing is, monstrously quick I mean you just you're burning through releases like it's nobody's business it is it's a little bit insane actually now with any of these first look reviews it's always extremely tricky to actually come up with a proper conclusion for these cameras yeah. and with a unit like this there's so many things that Canon have improved there's literally improvements on every single aspect of the 1DX Mark II stepping up to the 1DX Mark III it is from the specs at least, better in every possible way. And I keep saying this, I cannot wait to actually get this unit out in the field and try it and give a proper review and a proper impression on this. But what I do wanna say is that it almost feels weird to, at the beginning of 2020, get a DSLR camera as a big breakout release. You know, for the last couple of years, we've all been talking about mirrorless this and mirrorless that and all the amazing things that that technology set can bring you. And it's actually really great to look back and go, here you have a DSLR unit that has some phenomenal new technology in there that we haven't seen anywhere else yet, that is new, that is groundbreaking. And 
that gives the customer who is still looking for a unit like this everything that they could possibly want in a camera. You have everything that I, as a user, could want out of this. And I mean, I'm by no means the target audience for this. I mean, I don't shoot sport, I don't shoot wildlife, nothing like that. But if you are somebody who is in the market for that type of unit, if you are a professional sport or wildlife photographer, then going out and investing your money in the new 1DX Mark III from this first look cannot be a bad move. It really seems to tick all the boxes that you possibly want. And just from the little bit of time that I've spent with it, and I'm sure you as well, like it is, it is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah, it is definitely, great. like you said, does tick a lot of boxes. And it's almost like you can say, it's almost like a hybrid. Yeah. It functions as a full professional DSLR, but also in the mirror lockup mode, it's got some amazing autofocus performance as well. Absolutely. So we'll be doing a full review with this, a full on proper review, put a lens on this and go shoot soon. Mm. Uh, you guys must subscribe so you can uh, keep up to date with that. But I think that's it for today. Yeah, absolutely. So um, that was our first video for 2020. Yeah. Quite an exciting one. But we um, release 1DX Mark III. Yeah, massive release right out of the gates. So I'm quite stoked to see what comes yeah. for the rest of the year. But um, until then, I think uh, we'll catch that's you it. guys next time. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers.